Welcome to Shortview Trading. My name is Chris Walling. I'm the CEO and founder of Daily Rag Trader. It's Monday 25th of March around 9 a.m. London time and this is your morning market hit. So if you want to trade markets on a one to two week time frame, you want to trade equity index futures, S&P, NASDAQ, DAX futures, what do you need to look at? What should you be thinking about? How should you go about implementing long or short trades in those equity index futures? And the first thing you want to think about is how's the market's trading? What's the price action? Contextualizing, how can one contextualize the recent moves that we've seen in asset prices across the globe? And interestingly, if you look at the S&P 500, it's been soggy in the past couple of days. Look at this 10-day GIP chart that we're putting up in front of you now. The S&P rallied hard into its local high at the back end of Thursday. And since then, it's been soggy, trading modestly lower consistently over the course of the last couple of trading sessions. Equally, if you look at the Nasdaq, the chart's a pretty similar kind of shape, peaking late on Thursday and softness ever since. And all of that, interestingly, was coincident with some sell signals we got on a couple of our technical scoring systems. Take a look at the S&P 500 technical scoring system we're putting up in front of you now. This is a short-term time frame designed to complement these one to two week trades. And you can see on Thursday, Friday, this, this indicator was back on sell. That, of course, is one of the key reasons we took our S&P long futures trade off early morning London time on Friday. But what's interesting about this market today is it's been pretty resilient, despite a couple of factors playing out in the last couple of weeks. One of those is the behavior, the put to call ratio, because there's been a lot of buying of puts in recent trading sessions. This is buying of downside put protection by traders as they, as they seek to hedge their portfolio. But of course, by buying downside put protection, you're effectively selling the market. So there's selling going on in the last few trading sessions, but really the market's been very resilient. And in fact, if you look at the one day put to call, the underlying ratio that we're showing in this chart here, the thin gray line, you can see this move very sharply over the last couple of weeks with a lot of buying of puts that the, the ratio is actually inverted in this chart. So the ratio has been going higher in the last couple of weeks, there's been more put buying. And, and as I said, the market's been pretty resilient. So that, that's the first point of impressiveness of this equity market, despite that effective selling of the equity market by traders that we've seen going on. The second key point that's worth bearing in mind is the dollar's been rallying. Now, the dollar was pretty strong on Friday, up about 0.4% on the DXY. It was up more than that on Thursday, and it's had a pretty good run in recent trading sessions. And in fact, it's actually now quite overbought, as you can see on this technical scoring system now. But uh, throughout this strength of the dollar in the last week or two, again, the S&P 500s remain resilient. And typically, a strong dollar is associated with some weakness in equity markets and a weak dollar, typically some strength in equity markets. Now, that's not always the case, but that's a pretty good relationship for quite a lot of the time. So the resilience of the equity market to dollar strength is again a second thing that's really quite impressive in the price action we've seen in the last week or two in the S&P 500. So where does that leave us? Well, the good news is the 10-day moving average of the S&P 500 is still trending up. That's a pretty good insight into the main direction that the market's going when you're thinking about one to two week trades, which of course is what we're getting up to in the Daily Rag Trader. So that is good news. And equally, of course, the dollar's now overbought and there's a lot of puts in the market and typically a high level of puts leads to put covering, which of course is effectively buying at the market. So there's some promising signs out there as we go forwards. But to see how we're really playing it, the full range of models that we publish each and every day, and our assessment of the market and our recommendation, please take a free trial to the RAG Trader, or if you're a subscriber, it should have been in your inbox by around 9 a.m., 8.30 a.m. London time. So apart from all the models and the context of the price action, what are we watching this week? What are the key events that we think are coming up? Well, there's four key themes. Firstly, there's a US data theme, macro data out of the States, quite a lot on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday culminates with the personal income spending and PCE data. On Thursday, you've got Michigan sentiment coupled with the Chicago PMI. And then on Tuesday, we've got conference board, consumer confidence and durable goods order. So a lot of data out of the States. That'll be watched closely. Second key theme is Jerome Powell is in discussion, speaking on Friday at the San Francisco Fed Monetary Policy Conference. He may well say some interesting things. Of course, it's Good Friday, so much of the Western world is closed in terms of stock markets, but that'll be watched closely as well. 
Thirdly, there's a ton of earnings coming out of China. A lot of the banks, the big banks in China are reporting their earnings, and so is BYD. And of course, all of that will be pretty important. The banks will have some insights into the state of health of the economy. That'll be watched closely. And BYD, of course, is their great car company, their EV car company. And then finally, as mentioned, Good Friday on Friday is a bank holiday in much of the West. So trading is likely to be light slash limited where a lot of markets are closed in many parts of the world. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Monday, 25th of March. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Simply click on the subscribe button and like and follow and share on social media or follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.